Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by A.O. Conseco. Okay, well, welcome back to the Rap Trap. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement. I'm watching this, uh, this, this uh, 6 9 Live. Uh, she don't knock that nigga in his eye. Uh, watching the fight. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is In Hindsight. I'm AO. I'm just blown away by this shit. First thing we notice when we look at the 6 9 Live is that exactly what you have to like this is how the shit works this is this is no different in the street we've seen this before we've seen street niggas we're gonna get to the rap shit in a minute but as far as a nigga telling and coming home to love the first love that the nigga's gonna get if he has a bag will be from the nothing ass bitches they that's see this is where you don't this is where don't get it fucked up we gauge a man by how many bitches, how much hoes want him. What grade of hoe does he fuck with? Um, the reason why NBA Youngboy is still so, you know what I'm saying? Because the bitches still want him in lieu of, of uh, the STD, the risk of an STD. So that's why he's still so high up. Um, the the imagery of a female next to a bad a, a good looking female next to a man takes his stop just from even from other women you know what I'm saying of course the bitches that stand next to someone with no shot the king earn no honor would have to be a nothing ass bitch um because you're not only putting your life in danger, uh, but see, you give society, we give them a pass. It's all good that they're there, but as soon as the first, nobody's going to say nothing about those girls that are around him. No one's going to say anything about it. But the first dude that you see around him, oh, man. It's just going to be, but the dude could be there for the same reason that the girls are there. For the money. For the money. It wasn't a, a coincidence that he did his first video with what you would look at and say is a bad bitch. Of course, their actions prove to us that they're nothing ass bitches. But just the imagery of, you know, oh man, they I, I want to fuck them. I want to fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, them all look good. That makes a motherfucker like, oh man, this nigga, yeah, yeah, he, he winning. It gives you the image of he's winning. And and here in America, that's what we want. That we love a good winner. You know what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck how you got there. Whether you got there from, you know, uh, uh, killing people in, in, in gas chambers or uh, turning people in, de destroying homes with the dope. As long as you on top and it looks like you winning, you go give a couple turkeys out, everything's forgiven. As long as you were nice to somebody, it don't matter who the fuck you were fucked up to. This is why... I'm telling you, this whole culture, that not just the music, this whole culture that we have going on needs to be destroyed and rebuilt. Far before we ever, anyone ever, ever knew of a fucking 6 9 snitches were coming home to this type of treatment. Bad bitches. Niggas get, you know, shit, at, uh, celebration at the club. But meanwhile, a nigga who kept it solid come home to nothing. 
come home to rumors, come home to hate. Because he don't got no money. But the nigga got a bag, boy, shit. Boy, that nigga ain't really know, he really ain't do shit for real. Shit, he brought up that nigga, and he, he been hating on him. So, she he really ain't do nothing for real. That's somebody on the inside that's benefiting off of the snitch, the rat, now being someone that has money. Of course, the people on the outside will be able to see it for what it is. That nigga told on his brother. Nigga told on his fucking brother. But everybody out here is broke. And if you're part of the streets, you don't really have, like, you, you're already in a in a, a culture that is kill or be killed. The fact that you are selling dope to whoever the fuck wants it already says that your integrity is, you don't have any morals. Whatever gets you money, it's all good. So, as long as the nigga ain't telling on you, it's all good. And that's, that's a code that we've adopted in the streets within the last, I think, 20 years. Nigga ain't tell on me. Shit, but it don't, it, you know, you'll have niggas know a nigga finna tell, but it don't, it don't, it, man, it, it don't, you know, I ain't never did nothing to you, my nigga. You know, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't in that, my nigga. That's how niggas will come at a nigga. After they find out, like, damn, I, I didn't serve that nigga too, man. Hey, bro, look. Well, you know, I ain't never fought your own. Oh, nigga, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, it ain't about you, my nigga. This, this mother shit going on. I'm just saying, my nigga, like, I'm just trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? You know, I always kept a solid with you, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know, niggas pleading for their freedom. It's their freedom on the line. So niggas ain't like, man, shit, I ain't, I ain't in that shit, bro. Just, just, just keep me out of it, my nigga. I ain't, I ain't in. I ain't, I ain't tripping. I ain't, I ain't got no beat. So a nigga go on the stand and take out, you know, you got a 32 goddamn man indictment, but nigga ain't telling on you and it like shit. I'm just, so when nigga come home, nigga hit you up like shit, bro. You see, I ain't goddamn. Yeah, I appreciate that, my nigga. You know, they just back home. Shit, what, what, what they hitting for? Well, you know I got you. I'm going to come down there and fuck with you. It's fucked up out here. Niggas trying to get money any way they can. You think a nigga mind buying off a fucking rat? You think a nigga buying, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you think he mind getting it for, you know, hundreds cheaper? Just because he got to go get it. You think he going to actually not take that? Because a nigga told on somebody? No, man, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. Going into the streets, if you're expecting for the, the people in the streets to have honor, to have integrity, to have morals, you're in the wrong fucking line of work. The street is built on Take advantage where you can. There's no need for sympathy, compassion, empathy. Get you up. You get up any way you have to. And that's the fucking mentality niggas take when they walk into these interrogation rooms. It's about me right here. It's always been about me. Yeah, we a team, you know, and then we go to the club, we fuck hold together and all this shit like that. But in real life, my nigga... I'm just really trying to, the only reason I fuck with y'all nigga because the color I rag don't mean nothing. The street we stay on don't mean nothing. It's about me. I'm trying to come up. And you can tell from little shit like, you know, nigga hitting your licks. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't mind, you know, talking to this. Like, you can, it's little things that let you know, like, nigga don't really... Fuck with you like it's not really no family. Y'all can throw barbecue with y'all face on the t-shirt and all kind of shit, but it's not no real family. You better take it like from the crews, every Supreme Team BMF, just pick one. <coughs> Somebody felt like it wasn't a fucking family. Somebody felt like it, it ain't nigga, we ain't nah my nigga, hold on. Look now, you know what I'm saying? Like what can we do here? I just don't want to go to jail. 
So I just want to point that out first before we even go into um, what, what's going on here because the first thing I saw were the bitches. And from that, it's like you can, you can just tell there is someone behind the scenes um, from YouTube, boots, like just shooting the views of 6 9 is a business from how as soon as, you know, the bitch came out with the camera footage, if you didn't know, somebody came out with the camera footage of him being outside, you know, flexing and shit like that, so my hope, uh, and then, like, she was his next door neighbor, and then she put that shit out, and then, like, eight minutes later, police came and escorted him, taking him to a new location and shit like that. Like, 6 9 is a fucking business. You look at these two million goddamn views, and it just shows that I was talking to DJ, man. He said, like, this, like, and he's called this shit just from, just, he's he's let it be known when he was locked up. Like, he's going to come out and get Travis Scott's management team and just, it's going to be a real big fucking deal. Two million. Two million. What that tells anybody in an office is that, Fuck any code of ethics. Fuck that. Look at this. We can monetize this. There is an interest in this. And this is why this live is, is so celebratory. It's like a victory. Because all he had to show to the labels is that I can still do numbers. Regardless of what they're watching for, I can still do numbers. Someone had to believe in 6ix9ine and, and ask, you know, go to the right people at YouTube and boost the Gouda numbers. We saw those being boosted from the jump. They needed that initial boost because everyone's followers. It's the same model of having the bitches in the beginning and in the video, but in the beginning of the live. People, for the most part, are followers. This is why... I'm telling you about having the bad bitches on side of you. All that we have to see is that you're a winner, and now we're going to treat you like a winner. When all through this live, shout out to urban politicians. Uh, Big Ant said, um, he made a post talking about all through this live, it looked like he was choking back tears. You know what I'm saying? And, I, you know, I, tried to, I always try to, try to play devil's advocate in every situation so I can see it from every angle. And I said, you know, maybe he was nervous. Like, look how, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, all these people and, and maybe being the first time on camera for a long time. Like, no, nah, this nigga been on camera for, this nigga been on camera. This nigga is dead inside. That's why it's important to come on out with all the chains on, the, the, the uh, one in a million watch. From everything that you can see on the outside, I'm a winner. Bad bitches. I got money, obviously, and look at my numbers. I'm a winner. Labels, if you don't think that the labels have figured out that they will follow, then you better go look at, you know, pretty much every artist that Atlantic has had. That's a fucking model that they have. Shoot the fucking numbers up and everything will follow. Everything will follow. Then they've been doing that for so fucking long just like with, you know, um, with technology, they say if um, by the time we get it, it's been out for what, four years or is it 10 years or 40 years? By the time we get it, they, the government's had it for, you know what I'm saying? So the labels have been auto-tuned. They've been using this shit, this boost and number shit so fucking long that now an everyday person can buy numbers on a video and shoot this shit up. You can start your own fucking uh, independent label and it look like every one of your artists are doing stupid ass numbers to the untrained eye. Like, damn, this goddamn, hey, your label over there been doing numbers. If that's all you're looking at. So, the first thing we see is the bitches coming out. Um, Obviously, somebody is in the back room or back office, greasing the right palm. They went to Lear Cohen. Hey, we're going to make this bigger than life. We'll give you a cheap price. 
uh, on buying stock in the Takashi business, the 6 9 business, um, fuck with us on this. So, Lear Coon, which is the boss of YouTube now, in the mute department, um, okay, shoot them up. First two hours, shoot them up. The, and you got academics right here. <laughs> And if, as long as you got academics, you know, every other platform will follow. 6 9 song has only been out for two hours or the first hour, first 30 minutes, and it's already done 5 million views. That's all we need. Once the media platform start following suit from the biggest media platform, academics, in our eyes, academics, Hip hop media. Everyone's gonna follow suit because if it comes from academics, you know that his shit is spot on. We'll overlook the fact that six nine and academics have worked hand in hand since the fucking beginning. Right now, it's all about six nine. All all those details that get fucking you know. Uh, that it, it's too much going on. You got the Gouda drop. Then you got the live coming out. And everything. Oh my god! It's just he's the biggest thing in the world. Never mind that the song is trash. It's about the just the 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 whole the, the blast of it all. It's just it's just all oh, look at all this, you know. So every way you look, it's six nine, six nine, six nine. No one's gonna look at the mechanics. Because everywhere you look is six nine, six nine, six nine. So it's like, of course the shit did two million views. Of course the shit did, you know, how many ever fucking million views in the first two hours. Look at all, look at everybody talking about them. And look at the people in the comment section. Look at how they're 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 um they're agreeing with them. Of course, who wouldn't tell if someone was fucking your bitch? Which, you know, Ant pointed this out, uh Urban Politician TV. He pointed this out also. We heard everything else. We saw everything else. Why didn't we hear the wiretap of them fucking from both sides, from Shadi and the nothing ass bitch Sarah? Both of them have, have denied the shit happened. So what has he heard that we haven't heard? Like, is he, and Aunt had to tell me this shit, like, is he going to protect his baby mama good name? Why wouldn't he put out the recording so that we can see, yeah, they really did fuck your baby mama? The whole kidnapping shit, whatever, obviously that was that was, you know, that and that has to be explained, you know, deeper. Um as far as and shout out to Big Body. Um he explained this also as far as not feeding the wolves, but I said six nine wasn't feeding the wolves because reality and industry, reality and fantasy, that that's where they came and, and met each other and they started clashing. He was really buying into them being homeboys and everybody being nine trade. And it's like, no, nah, my nigga, we just doing that in front of the cameras. Behind the scene, you need to pay us to be your friend. No, we're friends. And I and go back to my old videos and you'll see that whole breakdown also. Um, what it comes down to at the end of the day is that this whole 6 9 thing is going to be heavily pushed um because it's more than just six nine i would imagine it goes as far as law enforcement even having stock in 10k which is his label i would imagine that whatever label is working with six nine at this time i'm saying 10k because that's the last known label um and they should, I think they're a sister company from Universal or something like that. I would imagine that they do have a certain amount of money going out to certain officers to where they are more, have, have a way bigger incentive to keep him safe. Now that it's been okay you don't have to be street at all but for some reason and this is what we got to get to the rap trap for some reason you don't have to be street at all we've seen that you're not street at all we've seen when some street shit happened let's say the, the airport when at the with the the, uh, the texas uh they were fighting the texas niggas 
Like how you just, you're so fucking uncoordinated that you fell down immediately when, when men started getting, you know what I'm saying? You fell down immediately just from the, just the, the sight of men walking sternly, firmly, you fell down. You're not about anything street. We've seen you in that instance. We've seen you in the courtroom. You're not anything street. But for some reason, you can still talk about pulling triggers, a hundred shots, all this shit, and walk around with police. Fuck that shit with 50 Cent. Oh, uh, nigga, you riding around with... Fuck that, you know, uh, 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 subliminal uh, speculation bullshit. We can actually see that you have real police officers as your security detail and as stockholders in you. They need the 6ix9ine train to keep running. This is a whole conspiracy. This is a whole conspiracy. Keep this money maker alive. I've used this analogy before. On American Gangster, um, Richie, uh, the character played by uh, Russell Crowe, I believe, if I'm um, right with my actors. Richie said, I don't think these people want this drug selling shit to stop. It pays too many people. Judges, prosecutors, lawyers, probation officers, police officers. Everybody gets paid from niggas selling dope. I don't think they want it to stop. Motherfuckers don't want this 6 9 gravy train to stop? 6 9 come home, media get paid, police get paid, uh, uh, labels get paid, uh, 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 fucking fans are entertained, everybody profits. And I think it's even good, even better for the streets. Because if you can't see from this situation that the streets are truly dead if you're still in the streets you're living you're a zombie you're you're living like on a dead organism it's dead the streets in what you think it would be which is i'm gonna sell dope to get money and it to support my family that's over the structure of it is over you can't operate in a system without structure how, like I said, if I could sell dope to myself, then I, I would I would do it. But because I have to get it from somewhere and put it somewhere, I can't fuck with it. Because he could tell or he could tell. And it wouldn't mean nothing to their life. Because how 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 truly, how connected are you to the nigga you get your dope from? How connected are you to the folks you sell your dope to? To where you feel like in a courtroom, if they were facing 20 years or more, that they would say, no, nah, that's my nigga right there. You smoked a couple blunts with them, went to the club, you went to their mama house to serve them, and, and, and they told you to come in so they don't, she don't think you selling dope or some shit like that? You think they gonna hold up? Are you serious? The biggest part of it is, they don't even have the, um, the fear of anything happening to them after they tell. It's over. There is no reason for a person not to tell. Why in the fuck would you go to trial and not cooperate? In 2020, what's gonna happen? As long as you're gonna go back out here and get money, it's all good. It's so many motherfuckers that's ready to sell you whatever the fuck. They don't give a fuck about no, no, no record. And if he won't sell you no dope, he will. Only thing might change, you might have to go a little bit further to get the shit. But you're still in the game. There is no reason in 2020 for you not to be on a police payroll. You got police protection and you're getting street money. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Niggas is scared to shoot anywhere. They got cameras in the middle of the fucking hood. Niggas ain't ready to shoot no fucking body. It's so fucked up nowadays that the shooters is the main motherfuckers in the interrogation room telling. Shooters is telling on dope boys. Police
police officers don't even have a fucking physical requirement anymore because you don't have to run after nobody. We catch everybody off the internet. If it ain't off the internet, then it's uh they coming in here. Hey man, look, I'm gonna turn myself in, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk right back out because I got something good for you. Got something good for you. Come on, now they go ahead. Pay me that square right there. I got something for you. Because if they didn't catch it on Instagram, then they did. It's dead. So from this point forward, from this point forward, there is no man who fuck nigga told on me, bro. Man who fuck nigga told on me. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? Niggas ain't shooting like that no more. The worst a nigga can do is shoot a shot online. That nigga told. Okay. This nigga, he told. Even if it wasn't no police around them, niggas wouldn't do shit to them. It, it'll be before one of them niggas out of gang do something to them, it'll be a, a fucking somebody at a concert. Fuck you, man. And that, they'll do that just because they drunk. They do that to folks who didn't tell just because they drunk and high. Look what happened to Plies. It's over with. Let's talk, uh, let, now, let's talk about the, the trap where motherfuckers is telling you in this music that you have to be a certain way in order to be. Like, hold on, my nigga. All oh, that shit dead. All oh, that shit dead. Because I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet that one of these rap niggas is definitely about to do a song, one of these street rappers is about to do a song with 6 9 Just on some, if you're trying to revive, and this is what DJ said too, if you're trying to revive your career, if you're trying to, you know, like, 6 9 is like he's the equivalent of a, a of a fight in the club or, you know, you slapping somebody. It'll give you that type of publicity right now. Usually you would have to go out here and fight, you know, go take a nigga chain or, you know, some shit like that in order, you know, how niggas start beefing with people when they finna sell an album. All you gotta do is have 6 9 on the album. Motherfucker gonna run to it. I gotta hear this song. A lot of niggas are falling. A lot of niggas ain't saying shit about 6 9 because they, them and their label are saying, we probably gonna do a feature with him. They're sitting back in the cut trying to see how people are gonna respond to him. Are people really gonna buy the fact that he told because they tried to kill him and they fucked this girl? If the people are gonna buy that and still fuck with him, if he still has a core fan base, we're fucking with them. We're fucking with them. I'm sure that I said this um, in one of the videos and somebody's going to have to find it where I said they're going to treat this like, you know, uh, coming back, like he, he's the hero. He came back from all odds. He, he, he beat her. They, they, they fucked this girl and they, and, and, and they tried to kill him, but he still wouldn't go down. Lay down. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at him and he just wouldn't go down. He's a hero. Watch the spin. Watch the spin. And the people who start to spin are the people who were paid. Those are the people who are in, who have bought, stock. In the 6 9 business. What did he really do wrong? I don't know what I would do in this situation. Because they did, you know. A nigga cooperated. And man, I was talking to Aunt today, man. And Aunt said something so serious. About the contradiction and the white privilege. But really, it's anyone's privilege with black people. With Troy Al, ain't no 
with any other rapper, if you've gotten on this Alpha Mega, anyone, even young uh, uh, young LA, you can't even get beat up. Shy Glizzy, you can't get robbed. This shit that can happen to anybody without your choice. But snitching? A motherfucker can willingly snitch and still have a fucking career. A black artist cannot do that. This is why it's a fucking trap from the jump. They're not going to allot you the same privileges, the same opportunities you got one chance you got one fucking chance if a nigga do something to you and you don't return fire risk your freedom and your life it's over with for you it's over with but you bring anybody of another fucking race in here and they just it's all good talking about the same gangster shit if not more gangster shit this nigga out the cell from telling on a motherfucker straight out the interrogation room, smoking a cigarette, uh, eating a chicken leg. Let me let me go and do it first. Hundred shots, twenty shots. What the fuck? You still in witness protection? The police just came and got you. After a white girl took a picture, they just came and got you, and you and this bitch hundred shot, twenty shot, bang. What the fuck is going on? But this is the, this is the game. This is the game that we just continue to walk in this motherfucker. Who's control? It's obvious that we don't control it. You've had a lot of our big artists speak out on this without making a fucking ripple in the water. This is coming from higher up. Numbers are being manipulated. They know exactly who to go to. They got this shit sold up. It's sold up. All of the, the uh, what do you call it, um, critical organs, vital organs, it's sold up. All that we can do is probably talk from the, the finger or, or the fucking, you know, you know, the, 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 the foot or some shit like that. But the heart and, you know, the, 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 the um, kidney, the brain, they got all that sold up. The eyes, ears, mouth. They got all that sold up. We got the pancreas or the, you know, some shit that you can take out. Tonsils. So that says that we're going to have, we can't keep feeding the monster, but the issue is everyone in America, in the world at this point, is incentivized by money. You put, like I said, for money, a nigga can come home and have nothing but bad bitches. Just bad bitches. And and make them whole smile in the video look like they having fun. Money will make a bitch forget a nigga got herpes. Money will make a bitch forget a nigga look like, you know, disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Bitches been fucking, you know, big Wall Street fat white men, mayonnaise jars and shit like that. They've been doing that for the money. Look at Anna Nicole. As long as that's the, you know, destroyed. But I, I don't, like I said, the rap trap is secondary in this situation to me. I'm hoping that a nigga can see that a nigga can come home after downing a real blood game, a real set. A nigga can come home and flex in front of everybody do you really think that everybody around you is solid do you really think a motherfucker is going to be too scared to tell on you what is keeping the person next to you from telling the love he got for you fear of repercussion Y'all niggas gonna have to, like, it, it is what it is. I know you don't want to work. I know you don't want to relinquish the power 
of being in the street and having this and, and hoes coming and you know what I'm saying? It's just a fast life. You don't want to get that up. But the fact that you don't want to give it up and start your new life is going to be the same exact thing that hinders you from ever getting forward, going forward in life. Because as long as you're in that seat, you have no control. You're three months away from catching a bullet or catching a case. If you don't believe me, just stay out there. And y'all just watch. In three months, there will be a story of a nigga getting killed or a nigga getting busted or both. The game wasn't made for you to stay in. It was made to get you and get out. But you can't get you because every time you get something, you spend something. That was back then. You get get you and get out. Now it's like you can't even barely touch it without getting caught another charge. Because every time they get one nigga, that nigga, hey, I can tell you where I got it from. I can tell you where I got it from. And just put the folks on you like that. Because ain't no repercussions coming down because a nigga don't want to go to jail. Let's be honest. Let's be for real. As street niggas, it's not that many shooters out there in real life. Just be for real. Let's just, let's just come on, man. We know what's going on. Ain't that many shooters for real, my nigga. Real shooters? They don't last that long because they're real shooters. And niggas are scared of real shooters. Used to be, if a nigga was scared of a nigga, he had kill him. Now, nah, if a nigga's scared of a nigga, he get him out of there. And the real shooters want to be known as the real shooters. So they make it easy. They can't even pinpoint who the fuck told on them. 6 9 marks a new era. If you care about your family, if you care about your children, if you don't want to see them in pain from you dying or going to jail for a long period of time, then you'll hop out and go on here and stand up right now. Whether you got to work at Burger King or go outside and cut grass, you're not going anywhere in the dope game in 2020, period, point blank. If you're anyone, if you're dealing with ounces, a case is already on top of you. You already got a case pending right now, I guarantee you, if you're selling ounces. They already on to you. Used to be, nigga, at least let you get up the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Let me get half a thing for you goddamn. Nah, my nigga. They started ounces now. Niggas trying to get that time. Like, niggas just trying to stay out here with these drugs and these bitches. Period, point blank. You see a nigga that winning too long for too much? The niggas are fucking. I'm trying to tell you what's going on, dog. But, you know, you're going to find out the hard way. Oh, man, yo. Man, I'm just not getting out, man. I should have listened to you, bro. I should have gone and listened to you, bro. Now these folks got me got. Six nine. Six nine can liberate so many people. Just look at what's going on. He's still able to stomp. And as much as motherfuckers will talk about how the fuck, how the fuck, niggas don't understand what's going on, motherfuckers are fucking with this shit. That lets you know, if you have a problem with what 6 9 did, you a fucking dinosaur. You a dinosaur. If you find, you know, telling for any reason wrong, you're a dinosaur. Yo, and that's what I'm telling you, like, that's probably why you're not having no success in the music business because ain't nobody really fucking with what you got going on. Like, niggas don't live on, like, they don't step on that. They ain't made from that type of fabric. They don't even make that fabric no more. So you talking to a race that's damn near extinct. You look around, you know, a dead nigga, and it's always going to be nothing ass bitches. Look at a dead nigga, and it's always going to be nothing ass bitches around him. 
as much a motherfucker can put on, look at this watch, uh, nigga, I got, ain't nobody winning like this, but a motherfucker know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you've ever touched the street, if you got even a morsel of, if you, if you like, like, you like talking gangster shit. Like, if you have that inside of you, you like, you find that attractive, being a fucking rat, that shit, that's why, like, niggas who tell, they will have a lot of dope and a lot of hoes around there always be talking about how much they got because they dead on the inside. They dead on the inside. They can't leave the house without having something, you know, let me, let these motherfuckers know who I am because they, they need to look at this and not look at me. Everybody who came out the street, they name is not intact, dog. And you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. Yeah, what it is, my nigga. Uh, you know, do what you want to do. Handle it how you want to handle it. Uh, it's a new era. I'm not going to keep talking about 69. You know? Um, pretty much until he die. I don't, I, like, I'm... He's gonna do antics. Let's let's go get it out of the way. He's gonna do antics. That's what the label's gonna tell him to do. He's gonna do shit to get in the media. That's what they're gonna tell him to do. I'm not covering six nine stories. He told, that's all you need to know. He told and people are still fucking with him. All you need to know. To make an educated decision on what you do next. This proves to you that this game is not, it's, 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 it's a big fucking glitch in it. You, as an African-American artist, cannot do that. They would never let you get away with that. There will never be a black rapper who's able to disrespect the street code and still have a career. It will never happen. They had to do it with a fucking other Pacific Islander Mexican you know it couldn't go as far as white it had to be a other and not everybody in on it channels that don't have content channels that don't have followers real fan bases they're gonna continue to spit that shit out because that's what they have to do I'm not on that. We got a lot more education than, you know, to, to oh, she's done. I'm not, he got on the phone today. I'm going to let the people who get paid to do that, do that. That's another one of ant shit. People get paid to do that. They start the storm. Oh, you might get paid off this video. It is what it is. Um, make sure that you go to, um, if you want the uh, t-shirts, I, I got off that shit. Um, I forgot we got new folk coming in the door. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious? It's always in the description box. Um, go in the description box, paypal.me, are you serious? 10, um, and are you serious is an R, it's a U in serious. Um, are you serious t-shirts? Or 15, the Big Face Podcast t-shirts, uh, 15. Uh, the Me and two t-shirts, or the Camouflage t-shirts, they go for 20. Um, make sure you put your size, what shirt you want, and your address in the PayPal note. Um, and get to the Patreon. I can't, I can't stress it. I mean, if you ain't at the Patreon at this point, then, you know, but it's going down with that bitch. Handle business, make sure you hit the uh, PayPal or the Cash App, show love, support the show. I'll see you on a minute. Love, love.